So what we're trying to do here is the sheep come down at these rocks and it's very hard for us to walk in through this. This is really rough ground and it's very difficult in there. And uh, so we get the dogs to push them back up onto the top of the mountain where it's open and where the dogs can walk them easily and all. But when you get into this stuff, it's horrible. Usually every year in the gather, somebody has to walk in through all this uh, kind of rough ground here. Maybe two or three people have to go through to try and get all the sheep out. So what I'm going to do is just trying to practice, uh, well, practice with Bert, but also train the sheep, train the sheep to walk out. So that if I do this a few times, when when the sheep uh, hear me whistling or hear us whistling down the valley, they'll start to rise out up onto the top of the mountain. So that's the goal here. So really, this isn't like an outrun lift and fetch. This is an outrun trying to get on the sheep and then turn them back up onto the top of the mountain. But you need to give them their time. You'll see here now what happens. When I talk about wanting power, or stamina and balance in a dog, you don't really need power or balance up here, but we need a lot of stamina in a dog because we can't have a fella almost get the sheep and then just decide he's had enough. He doesn't just take the turn that here that he needs to take. I need him to flank off there. But then I'm also trying to video, so I decide to let it go and just get him up there. Look! Look! When I tell a dog to look in this situation, what I want him to do is turn his head and look this way or look that way. And when I get him looking the right way, then I fire command at him. So if I got him looking up towards the sheep, I'd give him an away flank and he'd go in that direction. But I'm trying to video here too, so I don't get it right and I'm just concentrating on trying to get the sheep. So now I have Bert on the sheep. And the thing here is that while they're running and all, is to give them lots of time because sheep up here, sometimes one of them can be weak and they can lie down and drop very simple or they turn around and fight the dog. So I'm trying to keep Bert back, but I haven't got my two fingers to whistle with, so my whistle doesn't have the same authority. And so I just kind of repeat it and hope that he'll stop. I also want him to find a path and rise up the hill. You know, I don't want him to panic and start running down the hill, because if that happens, it's all over, and I'm training him to come down the hill instead of go up the hill. I've cut plenty out of this video where, you know, I often stop the dog here and just stop and give them a few minutes to kind of find their way and just to take the whole pressure off them. So this video probably took 20 minutes or more, 25 minutes, but uh, just plenty to cut out. So it's very important to give the sheep their time and you see with this one if we put too much pressure on her instead of going up she could turn around and start running down just blindly down the hill and so that's the last thing we want so we have to be nice with her and just barely let her see the dog and just touch her up so that's Bert's little job done there for today a lot of people would have said when I was running Bert in nurseries that you know he's only a work dog and he'd never make a trial dog and he didn't have this and he didn't have feel and he didn't have that but you see, you know, a lot of those people with the trial dogs, if they came up here, they actually wouldn't be worth a damn at this. And you don't even need power, but you do need a dog that, you know, that has a big desire to work. And uh, so for those reasons, I was always very fond of Bert. But I think he's starting to come good as a trial dog now too. But um, he's definitely a very willing fellow up here, and he'd take any amount of hardship now. He just loves this place. But, uh, and when it comes to trials, Bert's definitely more of a big course dog. We won an open this summer, uh, sort of, there were 64 dogs in the class, and it was a, an ex-national course, so it was a good big course, 
and so Bert won that and he, he only lost two points on the whole course so he's no dunce either now I think he'll be a good big course dog you know for big events I'll, I'll have the national in mind for Bert so when I do this a few more times pushing these sheep up I expect that after a while we won't even need a dog we just need to come out and give a few whistles and they'll make their own way up up where we want them to be Thank you.